hi ladies welcome back to my channel okay so i am in my dressing gown just sitting on the sofa not doing much um and i just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about something quite serious to do with social media how it is ruining it's if you're not careful social media can really ruin your life you can believe everything you read you can get all swept up and obviously mum guilt and dad guilt is a real thing and something that just keeps coming up on my videos see i've deleted tiktok off of my apps and all that but one thing that keeps coming up is like put your phone down spend more time with your children put your phone down spend more time with your children and then they put this like really sad music and then they do like um a video where you've got you quickly i don't know checking something on your phone and the child's like playing on their own with you versus you playing with them and you're all having a great time and the sad music in the background it makes you really guilty and then you put your phone down and play with your kid and it's like okay but we're forgetting that years ago when social media wasn't a thing people used to spend a lot of time in the pubs they used to take their children into the pubs or leave them in the car they also used to <clears throat> sit behind a newspaper have the newspaper right up whilst their children played um there was times where you were seen but not heard um you're not allowed to ask questions it was very very strict back in the day and i feel like i do spend time with my children obviously i do but there are also times when i need to play candy crush on my phone for five minutes i need to you know it's so difficult having that balance and I wish to the gods that social media would stop force feeding us this narrative that we are bad parents because we are not. If you take your children to the park, first of all, well done for getting out of your pyjamas. That is incredible. If you've managed to get out of your pyjamas today, that is absolutely incredible because depression is a real thing. Some people are like, oh my god, don't be so stupid. Like, I get out of my pyjamas like straight away every morning like there's no issues at all and that's great for you because you obviously don't have the depression that I have and a lot of other people do have if you I mean I know I'm in a dressing gown right now but um I actually managed to take the kids to school this morning um not in pajamas um I really hate it and this is why well part of the reason why I'm making this video so um don't feel guilty at all if you need to go on candy crush for a little bit or just quickly t check socials or whatever then do that but then go back you know and, and do your coloring with your kids or um we did blow pens yesterday we did coloring um last night um olivia helped me with the quail like get the kids involved with cleaning and tidying and what i do is something quite fun so when it comes to tidying like the lounge for example we've got laundry baskets we've got pillows you know we've got all of that um so what i tend to do is depending on how old your child is so for example harry is 12 so he will pick up 12 items off the floor in the lounge charlie is nearly eight so he will pick up seven olivia's four so she will pick up four items and then we put we ask alexa she didn't hear me um to play the tidy up song and if you don't have one of those you can just like google it on your phone or whatever and it's a really fun video, uh, sorry, it's a really fun sound that just like plays in the background and it sings along whilst you tidy up. And even if it's only five things that have been picked off the floor and you push the hoover around the rest, like that's still something, that's still getting the kids involved, doing things together. And that's what I do because I don't want to spend all my time playing with the kids toys because it's boring. Like I'm not gonna lie, it is boring. Sometimes, sometimes it's lovely. I do love colouring and I do love, you know, doing things like that. But a lot of the times, like for the for Harry and Charlie, they'd much rather play with each other when it comes to like Nerf guns and stuff. Because I'm like, I don't get it. I'm going to just be the fun police and be like, we need to wear our goggles. Someone's going to get um, stabbed in the eye with one of the bullets. Someone's going to lose the bullets across the road or down a drain or out in the garden. And then we're going to be upset. Like, it's no fun playing with me when it comes to, like, Nerf guns. 
but it's just getting that balance isn't it and I wish that social media would stop painting such a picture like that because it's really frustrating um that's my all rant of the day I took my hair extensions out because they were getting on my nerves um I got Matt to trim my hair yesterday because my ends were getting really tatty but now they're fine and I've sorted out the fish tank and I took the dog for a walk yesterday on my bike because it's freezing and I don't want to walk in the cold and she was happy to run along next to me. So yeah, super quick little video for you guys today. I um, hope everyone's doing well and staying safe and keep going with depression and anxiety and everything like that. I spoke to my doctor because I've been struggling recently and they said that they were going to put me on a new tablet called propanolol propanolol just add a little bit extra to boost up what um i'm already on at the moment because i've just been struggling a little bit I feel as well that social media can be very toxic and it's very easy to look at people's instagrams and be like wow look her life is so perfect and look at this and i wish i had that and i wish i looked like her and i wish la 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 and i wish that i had the energy to to do this that People will only put online, generally, not me, I share everything with you, um, but people in general will only share things they want you to see. Look at me and my new car. Look at me and my new hair. Look at me and my makeup look. You know, whatever it may be, or the house or the garden, you know, whatever. Whatever it may be, they want you to see like the most perfect bit of it. And that's not real life at all, which is why on my social medias, especially my YouTube videos, I tell you all the ups and downs of how I'm feeling and although you know I do go to the gym now I've just eaten what three pancakes with garden syrup and sugar no garden syrup and uh, butter and a peanut butter Kit Kat like what you see on social media is not always like the be all and end all of someone's life it's like a tiny little portion of their life which is why when people um, comment on my life, <clears throat> it's funny because it's like, okay, well, I'm only kind of sharing like a little bit of my life with you. Like you don't see me in bed, getting up in the morning, getting the kids ready for school, you know, having moments with the kids when they're upset and la 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 la. I mean, a lot of parent vlogger type youtubers like film stuff like that but you only see a very very small very small tiny shot of my life and the people that I've met um that are doing like white like youtubers I've met that are doing like way way better than me um they would never comment negative things on other people's like I don't I don't comment negative stuff on other people's youtube videos or instagram pictures it's always someone that's doing worse than you. So this is what I'm trying to say. Like if someone is giving you hate or giving me hate, it's like, okay, but let's ask you then what you've got going for you and what, you know, is so perfect about your life. And you'll find that it's, there's, there's not, there's not that much. Um, and they're very actually quite insecure about themselves and they will want to put you down to make themselves feel better. See, I don't need to do that because I know who I am. I am very honest online um, with who I am as well, but <clears throat> I think that opens up, that opens me up to a lot of criticism over the years. And if I've, you know, said something and someone's like, well, I know she said this, but actually I think she meant this. It's like, all right, well, that's just how you're going to misconstrue it. Like there's not... it. <laughs> I could spend, like, I've, I've said this before on my YouTube channel, like, I could spend an hour making, like, a sit-down video with, like, all of the comments and all of the, like, the, the latest one I got was, the latest hate comment I got was, who would want that, so that's me, who would want that as a daughter? Her mum would be so, so ashamed of her. Um, she would disown her and she wouldn't want to be in her life or something like that. Now they're talking about my mum who passed away when I was 
three and she was 37. And it's just come up to the anniversary of her date of birth, her death, and then her funeral. So it's all been within the beginning of November. And it's like, something like that is so dark that it's like, oh, you have children as well. Like, I hope they don't grow up to be spiteful and nasty like that. Like, imagine if, like, Harry, Charlie or Olivia said that to someone. I would be absolutely heartbroken. Like, that is not the way that we speak to people at all. Especially people we don't even know online. And people that we think we we've, we we know. The, the, the you know... YouTubers messing up at the moment, Colleen Ballinger, James Charles, all of that. And they're like dragging up some really, really dark stuff. And it's like stuff that I've done hasn't really affected too many people, I don't believe. And if I have, I'm really sorry. Um, my intentions are never to upset anyone. And I always want to just throw out positivity and honesty on this channel. And as a human sometimes I slip up and the other issue is is obviously I've got this platform and sometimes I just need to say what's on my mind say how I feel but really you shouldn't do that but <laughs> at the same time it does make me feel better um sometimes I need to like wait think things through get more of like a picture in my head about what I'm gonna say then post it don't just <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna go i hope this video did help someone and if it helps just one person then i feel like i've done my job so give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to me for free and i will see you in my next video bye ladies